Hey there, seafood enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fantastic topic, the top kinds of fish that might be tasty but come with a little side of caution. We're chatting about those delicious swimmers that could be a bit tricky due to some not so friendly elements. So, grab your favorite snack, get comfy, and join us for a chat about the seafood stars that might need a special spot on your plate. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started on this aquatic adventure together. Our underwater pals, fish. They're not just a tasty treat, they're also like a nutrient-packed gift from the sea. Picture this you've got protein, the building block of all things awesome, right there on your plate. And vitamins. Fish has them in spades, we're talking about vitamin D, which is like a little sunshine for your bones, and B12, the energy booster your body high fives. Minerals like iodine, selenium, and zinc. Yep, they're on the fishy menu too, helping your body run its e-game. Now, let's give a round of applause for omega-3 fatty acids, the unsung heroes that keep your heart humming and your brain doing its happy dance. And guess what? Fish is often lower in those sneaky saturated fats, making it a rockstar choice for those watching their waistlines. Now, we all know fish is like the rock star of the food world, packed with goodness and taste that can make any meal a hit. But, you guessed it, there's a plot twist. Some fish, our otherwise fantastic buddies, can throw a bit of a curveball with potential health risks. We're talking about things like mercury and those not so friendly pollutants that can tag along for the underwater ride. So, Let's dive deep into the sea of seafood wisdom, celebrating the stars of the ocean while keeping an eye out for those that might need a little extra caution. Here are some types of fish that people often eat but may be harmful if consumed in large quantities. Shark. These majestic creatures sit right at the top of the oceanic hierarchy, but here's the inside scoop, they've got a bit of a mercury situation going on. Being the big shots they are, Sharks can accumulate higher levels of mercury, and if you decide to make a meal out of their meat, you might be setting the stage for a not-so-cool guest appearance by mercury poisoning. It's like inviting trouble to your taste buds party. So, while sharks are undeniably the rock stars of the sea, it might be wise to give their meat a pass and explore the diverse world of seafood without worrying about any unwanted side effects. Now, don't let this tidbit put a damper on your oceanic culinary dreams. The sea is vast, and there are plenty of delicious options to choose from. Think of sharks as the backstage VIPs, their mercury content might not be the best for your dinner playlist. Let's keep the good vibes flowing, navigate the seafood scene responsibly, and savor the wonders of the ocean without missing a beat. Swordfish now, let's talk swordfish, the underwater warriors that share a bit of a similarity with our shark buddies. These hefty, predatory fish are on the larger side, and just like sharks, they can sometimes play host to higher levels of mercury. So, if you're thinking about making a swordfish steak the star of your dinner, it's like stepping into a potential mercury minefield. No need to panic, though. We're all about keeping things breezy in the sea of culinary adventures. Especially for our expecting moms and little adventurers, like young kids, it's wise to play it safe and limit the swordfish fiesta. Mercury isn't exactly the best sidekick for the little ones, and we want everyone to enjoy their seafood without any worries. So, let's keep the ocean vibes chill explore the sea's menu responsibly, and savor the flavors without any unwanted surprises. King Mackerel Now, let's set our sights on the regal King Mackerel, a fish that brings its own flavor but comes with a caution flag. Similar to its aquatic companions, King Mackerel can pack a punch when it comes to elevated mercury levels. It's like having a royal feast with a bit of a mercury twist. So, if you're eyeing that king mackerel dish, 
it's smart to keep things in check, especially if you're a soon to be mom or have little ones tagging along for the seafoody adventure. We're all about the joy of seafood, but a little caution can go a long way in making sure everyone stays happy and healthy. Mercury isn't exactly the best companion for these VIP guests, and we want to make sure the sea adventure is smooth sailing for everyone. Big Eye, and I Tuna. Hey sushi lovers, let's talk tuna, and not just any tuna, we're holing in on the Big Eye and I varieties. Now, tuna, with its melt-in-your-mouth goodness, has won the hearts of many seafood enthusiasts. But, and it's a gentle but, when it comes to Big Eye and I Tuna, there's a Mercury memo to consider. These beauties, especially the ones that make their way into those scrumptious sushi rolls, can carry a bit more Mercury baggage. It's like having a flavor-packed adventure with a side of caution. So, before you dive headfirst into that tuna delight, consider giving your taste buds a dose of moderation. We're all about savoring the sea's delights, but a little balance ensures a smooth and worry-free culinary journey. For the tuna enthusiasts out there, especially the sushi squad, this isn't a red alert but a friendly nudge to enjoy these delectable fish in moderation. It's like finding the perfect rhythm for your taste buds, a dance between deliciousness and mindful munching. So, let's roll with the sushi vibes, keep it cool on the mercury front, and relish the flavors of the ocean without any fishy frets. Marlin. Ahoy, sea adventurers. Let's set sail into the vast ocean and shine a spotlight on the mighty marlin. Now, marlins, with their sleek, powerful presence, may seem like the kings of the underwater world, but here's the inside scoop, they've got a bit of a mercury secret. Being large, predatory fish, marlins can end up accumulating higher levels of mercury in their system, turning what seems like a royal feast into a potential health concern. It's like having a regal dinner with a side of caution. So, if you've ever considered having marlin on your seafood menu, it's smart to keep things on the down low and savor this oceanic marvel in moderation. We're all for the thrill of seafood adventures, but a sprinkle of caution ensures a smooth, sailing experience. For those who love the idea of adding marlin to their seafood repertoire, just remember, moderation is key. This isn't a maritime ban but a friendly reminder to keep your culinary journey delightful and worry-free. So, let's chart our course through the sea of flavors, enjoy the wonders of the ocean, and make sure every bite is a celebration without any unexpected surprises. Grouper? Now, grouper, with its flaky goodness, might be a regular on your seafood radar, but here's the catch. Some of these finned friends can harbor elevated levels of mercury. It's like having a fishy friend who's picked up a bit too much metal on their underwater journey. So, if you're planning to indulge in some group of goodness, consider opting for the smaller species. Think of it as choosing the cozy corner booth at your favorite restaurant, smaller, cozier, and with less mercury baggage. We're all about savoring the sea's bounty, and this little nugget of wisdom ensures your grouper experience is nothing short of delightful. For the grouper enthusiasts out there, moderation is your seafood mantra. This isn't a fin frenzy caution but a friendly reminder to keep your culinary adventures balanced and worry-free. So, let's choose wisely from the oceanic menu, enjoy the flavors of the sea responsibly, and make sure every bite is a celebration without any unexpected detours. Halibut. Hey there, seafood fans. Let's reel in our attention to the delightful halibut swimming in the sea of culinary options. Now, halibut, with its flaky and mild taste, might be calling your name, but here's the lowdown, some of the bigger ones could be carrying a bit more mercury baggage. It's like finding out your favorite beach spot has a hidden current you need to navigate. So, if you're planning a halibut feast, especially if you're part of the vulnerable squad, like Mom's Tubi or the Little Sea Explorers, a dash of caution goes a long way. Think of it as adjusting your sails for a smoother ride on the ocean of flavors. 
We're all about making your seafood experience a breeze, and being mindful of the halibut size ensures your taste buds stay happy and healthy. For those with a ponchon for halibut, remember, it's not about waving a seafood caution flag but rather a friendly reminder to keep your culinary journey carefree. So, let's choose our halibut wisely, keep the good vibes flowing in the sea of flavors, and ensure every bite is a celebration without any unexpected ripples. It's essential to be aware of local advisories and guidelines regarding fish consumption, especially for pregnant women, nursing mothers, and young children. These groups are often more vulnerable to the potential health risks associated with consuming certain types of fish. Additionally, sustainable and responsibly sourced seafood is encouraged to support both human health and the health of marine ecosystems. Thanks for joining our seafood adventure today, fellow ocean explorers. If you enjoyed learning about the nuances of different fish and making informed choices for your culinary journey, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. Your support means the world to us, and it keeps the sea vibes flowing.